Been really making hay from that 15 foot area, mid range jumpers, shooting them very well. This is Monroe. Monroe, very methodical. He's a southpaw. Several fakes, and he rolls it in a little jump hook. A little posting, toasting by the 16 minor. Tremendous point guards. Here's Dallenberg's jumper, and that's off the mark. Well, you want Sam to shoot when he's 16, and he's the guy that's made the two three balls. Good rejection by Smith. Smith. They try it again. Jumper baseline jumper is off the mark. Smith wheeling over Stoudemire can't get it to go. Monroe kick out. Pope elusive off the dribble. And right now, Catavius Caldwell Pope is keeping the Pistons in this thing. They lead by one. 19-18. He's got 11. So here's Smith, and again he misses. It's loose and knocked into the basket. Don't know who hit it. But Detroit will get credit for two, and Monroe, I think, will get credited for it because he was that guy. Melo tries again. It's off the back rim, and it's rebounded by Greg Monroe. Then Gundy looking for his first win as the Pistons head coach, and now Shumpert. That was a steal. And Caldwell Pope, two of their younger players. Well, you see if Smith can make one. Finally, he makes one. Cole Aldridge in the ball game. Josh Smith finally has his second basket. He's in that type of thing. Now, I'm going to have a reader, but I do not read the almanac, I have to admit. <laughs> now, you have to probably read that because you got to check on weather, you know, in, in the Caribbean, when you face hurricanes down there in your, in your off-season home. Right, and my ultimate goal is to become self-sufficient. I want to grow my own food and, and do all of that in St. Croix. That's what I'm building toward. Then I can charge you and all your friends. <laughs> As long as you invite me down for lunch, I don't mind. <laughs> oh. No, I have all the trees. I have the coconut trees. I have mango trees and all that, but I don't have vegetables yet, fruits and vegetables. So, I love mango, by the way. Yeah, I have like four or five different types. Now, you can grow vegetables pretty well there, right? I mean, pretty much anything grows there. Yeah, just stick it in the ground. matched up to start the game. Now Monroe. Trying to work on Aldridge, and a nice move by Monroe. He hooks it in. Come on, Cole. The guy's left-handed. To Larkin. And a drive by Larkin, and he gets knocked down. Apparently, Jennings got Jennings. Monroe, the starting lineup for Stan Van Gundy. Oh. And Monroe goes to a right hand that time, the offhand, and he's fouled. That's why it's a foolish foul, folks. This guy is a southpaw, and he's throwing up a right-handed hook shot along the baseline. No reason for Smith to foul him on that shot. Have you seen a game in a long time where so many shots were missed at the rim? No, Dwight, uh, Josh Smith has missed as many as I've ever seen from one guy. Two or three dunks and at least four or five layups. He's, he's, you know. uh, we were asking about oh, the full moon. Oh. Uh oh, you were talking about it in Portland one night during your career. How it turned into a. Strange night at the emergency room, and now we have the full moon. It has an impact on people. Mike, maybe that's oh. Mello's going to try a three. No. Larkin has great hands for yeah. a young guy. Yeah. Misses again. Last yeah. time he went without a field. Now Smith tries a three. In and out. And Monroe. Kicks to Jennings. He tries a three. And that one's in and out. <laughs> Jason now seven of nine. And Monroe cuts to the basket. He gets fouled and he'll get two free throws. Well, this is a kind of a ragged start to the third quarter. Well, you're talking about two of the worst offensive teams in the league early on. This is the worst in the Knicks. They're only 86 points a game. The Knicks 88. They allow 98 points to the opposition. So this time Monroe slicing inside, so he's shooting. Stan Van Gundy trying to explain the game a little bit to Tony Brothers. He saw the eyes of Derek Fisher working, looking for a solution right now. Many artists have played the garden, but only one has made it their home. Go behind the scenes with the piano man, Billy Joel, home at the garden. It's an MSG original, premiering Monday night after Knicks basketball on MSG Network. Monroe with a couple of free throws. A long way to go in this one. Mike Crispino, Walt Frazier, Tina Zavasio with you for MSG Television. And there is Monroe now. He's got a couple of buckets. He's feeling attack Smith. Ducks under. Hangs in the air. Couldn't get it to go. Smith does a good job staying on.
Butler tried to go baseline. He did squeeze it in there to Monroe. AC blocks it. Oh. And again, the Pistons miss one point blank, but they get a tip in by Monroe. Yeah. Hardaway tries back rim. Tim three of Stewart shooting. Augustine tries a three. That's way short. So Monroe comes out of there. No excuse for that. Blue jerseys all around the oh. Wants to go hard inside. Jab step hook. Good. And a nice little out. shake and bake by Monroe. Posting and toasting stat that time. Knicks have made it interesting, but they still trail by seven with a minute nine to go. Yep, too little too late for these Knicks. Greg Monroe, second game of the season for him, and he just had the biggest bucket of the game right here. Pistons hanging on in the final minutes. Now it's a four-point game. What are they going to do? They're going to foul Monroe with 29 seconds left. Monroe's a pretty good free throw shooter, 80% thus far in the season. The Pistons 19 to 25, so a lot of time left. Knicks still have a timeout at 20. And Detroit has a 20-second timeout and a full timeout. And again, the clock kept running. The game clock kept running, and now, and now, they snapped it back to 29 seconds. So, and Tony Brothers over at the scores table trying to get things straightened out. Benny Adams caught it out of the corner of his eye. The clock, of course, right above the basket. That was one of the great innovations by the NBA to put the clock above the basket. It used to be located in the corners, folks, on either court, either the court. And uh, you know, over the years, there have been some missing seconds in some <laughs> arenas. <laughs> and Monroe's free throw rolls oh. off, so four-point lead. And the Detroit. drummer continues. Pistons one of five and. Stan Van Gundy says to himself, I didn't think I'd be having to go right to the wire to win this game. Detroit one of five in the fourth quarter shooting free throws, and finally Monroe makes the second. 